Section 1.5, Video 2. In this video, we're going to continue using Venn diagrams to solve survey problems with two sets and then transition into using them to solve survey problems with three sets. Example 3. A survey asked people about their cookie choices. Use the information below to complete a Venn diagram and answer the questions. Notice that with the statements, there are two different types of cookies mentioned, chocolate chip cookies and oatmeal cookies. That tells us that as we draw our Venn diagram, we need two sets. We need one set and we're going to label it chocolate chip cookies. And we need a second set and we're going to label it oatmeal cookies. Okay. If you remember from the previous video, when you're looking at the different statements, the one you want to start with is the statement that is as specific as possible about all of the sets in your Venn diagram. For example, we're not able to use this first statement saying that 46 people like chocolate chip cookies just yet. If you think about the chocolate chip cookie set, it has two spaces. Okay? And so we don't have enough information just yet to know how those 46 people are separated within those two spaces. Is it 40 people on the left and then six in the center? Or is it possibly 23 and 23? Both of those are different combinations of ways to add up to 46. So we just don't have enough information to use that yet. The one that's very specific about both chocolate chip cookies and also oatmeal cookies is this last statement, three people do not like chocolate chip cookies or oatmeal cookies. That means that we need to hide the chocolate chip cookie set and hide the oatmeal cookie set. So those three people are outside of both of those sets. And that would be in this space. So we've used that statement. Let's find another statement that can be used. Going back to the beginning, we still have that same issue with not knowing how to separate the 46 people that like chocolate chip cookies. And we would have that same issue with 25 people like oatmeal cookies. Okay, So we can move on that 37 people do not like oatmeal cookies. Well, if they do not like oatmeal cookies, I'm gonna take, and you can do the same, take your hand and cover up the oatmeal cookie set. And so you don't want to include any numbers within that oatmeal cookie set. So the two spaces that can be counted for people that don't like oatmeal cookies would be here in the left of the chocolate chip cookie space and also out here with the number three saying three people are already listed there. So if total they need to combine to be 37, we can say there are 37 total for not oatmeal cookies, but there are three that are already shown and that are already listed in our Venn diagram. So that leaves 34 for this space out here. So that together there's 37 and we can mark off that we've used that statement. And then you can move your hand and try to go on to the next statement. Now we can use this 46 people like chocolate chip cookies. So within that chocolate chip cookie set, it needs to total 46. So we know that there are 46 that like chocolate chip, but within the chocolate chip cookie set, there were already 34 people listed. So that means that there are 12 more that need to be in that center region so that everything within the chocolate chip cookie set totals up to 46. And we can check off that we have used that statement. Going to the last statement that's available is 25 people like oatmeal cookies. So within the oatmeal cookie set, we know that it needs to total 25 and there's already 12 listed. So 25 like oatmeal cookies, but we already have 12 listed so that means there are 13 that go in the blank space. And so that the oatmeal cookie set totals 25. And we can see that all the different spaces of our Venn diagram are filled in. And we can move on to 
to answering the questions, how many people were surveyed? To answer how many people were surveyed, we're going to add up all the different numbers within our Venn diagram. So 34 people were here on the left, 12 people were listed in the center, 13 people over here on the right within the set, and also three people on the outside. If we add all of that together, we get 62 total people surveyed. Part B, how many people like both chocolate chip cookies and oatmeal cookies? Well, if they like chocolate chip and oatmeal, then they need to be within the chocolate chip cookie set and also in the oatmeal cookie set. And that's that one center space where they overlap. So that would be 12 people like both. How many people like oatmeal cookies only? Well, another way to say oatmeal cookies only would be yes, they like oatmeal cookies and they do not like chocolate chip. So yes, they need to be with inside the oatmeal cookie set, but you want to keep the chocolate chip cookie set hidden. And so that would be the 13 people on the right side that are within the oatmeal cookie set, but not the chocolate chip cookie set. Part D, how many people do not like chocolate chip cookies? Well, if they do not like chocolate chip cookies, I'm going to take my hand and I'm going to cover up that chocolate chip cookie set. so that I don't include those values. And I'm going to include everything that's not covered by that hand. And the parts not covered by that hand would be the 13 here on the right and the three on the outside. And so we can put the 13 and three together to get 16 people to answer that last question. Let's go ahead and start with a three set Venn diagram. So example four, consider the Venn diagram shown and we're going to answer parts A through E. Starting with A, describe what each region represents. So what does the 17 mean? Well, the 17 people are within the kayaking set, but notice that they're outside of the snorkeling set and also outside of the wakeboarding set. So we could say that those 17 people like kayaking only, or we could say that they like kayaking, but not snorkeling and also not wakeboarding. The 11 in the center are people that are within the kayaking set and also in the snorkeling set, but notice that it's outside the wakeboarding set. So they like kayaking and snorkeling, but they don't like wakeboarding. The 15, we could say they like snorkeling only, or you could say they like snorkeling, but not the kayaking, they're outside the kayaking set, and also not wakeboarding because they're outside the wakeboarding set. I'm going to keep going kind of left to right here. The eight. The eight are within the kayaking set and also the wakeboarding set. They're within those two sets, but it's outside the snorkeling circle, outside of that snorkeling set. Thirteen in the center is within all three sets. It's within the kayaking circle, it's within the snorkeling circle, and it's also within the wakeboarding circle. So that's those are 13 people that like all three of those water activities. The nine on the right would be inside the snorkeling set and also inside the wakeboarding set, but outside of the kayaking set. 
So they would be people that like snorkeling and like wakeboarding, but do not like kayaking. The 22 would be wakeboarding only outside of the kayaking set and outside of the snorkeling set. And the last number five is outside of all three sets. It's not within any of those. So you could say that they don't like any of the three that are listed. Those five people do not like kayaking, they do not like snorkeling, and they do not like wakeboarding. They don't like any of those three. Let's move on to part B. Part B says how many people were surveyed. Well, to find out how many people were surveyed, similar to our previous question, we're going to take and add up all the numbers that represent the people. So we would take and add the 17 plus the 11 plus the 15 plus the 8 plus 13 plus 9 plus 22 plus 5. And if you want, you can go back. There are eight different regions, and so you can count up. There should be eight different numbers that you're adding together. When I add this up, I get 100 people were surveyed. Part C asks, how many people enjoy snorkeling? So to enjoy snorkeling, we want to take everything within that snorkeling set. So any number within that snorkeling set, 11 plus 15 plus 13 plus 9. So if we combine all of those together, we get 48 people. Part D, how many people do not like wakeboarding? Well, if they do not like wakeboarding, we can cover up the wakeboarding set. And we're going to include all the numbers that are not covered. So all the numbers left are people that do not like wakeboarding. 17, 11, 15, and 5. And if we add that up, we end up with 48 people. Part E, how many people like kayaking and snorkeling? So they need to like kayaking and snorkeling both. So if we highlight the snorkeling set, and we also highlight the kayaking set, they need to be within both of those sets. And that would be the 11 and 13 here in the center where the kayaking and snorkeling sets overlap. So 11 plus 13 would be 24 people that like both. And the last part, how many people like kayaking or wakeboarding? Or is our inclusive or, so it could be like, like kayaking. Let's highlight kayaking in yellow. It could be that they like wakeboarding. Let's highlight wakeboarding in pink. Or it could be that they like both. So any number anywhere within those colored sets, the kayaking set or the wakeboarding set would be included. That would be 17 plus 11, and then we're going to come down here to 8 plus 13 plus 9 plus 22. And when we put all of that together, we get 80 people.